What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. For the past week or so, I've been a little under the weather, if you can't hear it in my voice. So I've been kind of taking it easy and being a little less productive than I usually am, but still trying to get things done. So I've been trying to work on this piece right here, which if you haven't seen it, it ended up being, I had to do the frosted glass over again. I had to repaint it because it didn't dry properly. It was just a mess. So I've been doing that. And in the meantime, just doing little projects here and there, including this chair. So I'm sure many of you know, these little chairs right here are pretty desirable right now. And you can make a pretty quick profit just by ripping off the skirt, spending a couple minutes to clean it, and you can make like a quick hundred bucks. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let's get started. So I got this chair from Goodwill for $13 and I think that's a pretty damn good deal. These chairs are selling on Facebook Marketplace for $100, $150, sometimes even $200. It does have a couple of stains, however it is Lazy Boy so I'm thinking I can still get a pretty good deal from it and hopefully I can just get those stains out with my wet vac. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the skirt. In order to do that, I'm gonna stick the nose of the pliers into the skirt and I'm just gonna start pulling it up and using the leverage of the pliers to get it out. Trying to find a way to use the leverage instead of like prying and trying to force those staples out of there is a lot more gentle on your hands and on your body. So I highly recommend trying this method instead of trying to really like pry it out of there. After getting the skirt off, I went ahead and removed all of the staples that were left behind so that I could get to cleaning. My vacuum of choice is a Hoover wet vac and I got it because it was really compact and very affordable and it came with all sorts of cleaning solutions including a pet and dander one as well as a fabric cleaner so I used a mixture of both just in case there had been some cat hair or pet hair on this piece and I went ahead and mixed it into the water and then sprayed the entire piece down and made sure to use the little scrubby pads on the bottom of the vacuum to try to get out all those stains. By the way, if you guys are interested in helping to support Miss Flips, please make sure to check out my membership program. I have some amazing benefits in there for you guys. Also, make sure to check out the description below. I have other ways that you can help support me. If that's not something that you're into, I get it, but please make sure to like and subscribe and do all those things so that I can keep making all this awesome content for you guys and help you with your own furniture journeys. Thank you. 
Since this side of the cushion had this nasty ass stain, I wanted to go ahead and make sure to really get this fabric cleaner into the fabric because I didn't know what happened to this side of the cushion. So just to be safe, I really tried to soak it down. And again, just tried to use those little red pads on the bottom here for extra little scrubber power to try to get that stain out. And it honestly did the job very well. I was able to get this stain out and now you can't even see it when you flip it over. After cleaning it all off, I went ahead and let it dry. But while I let it dry, I actually found another chair on Facebook Marketplace. So we're gonna do the exact same thing to this one. This one, however, has a little bit more wear and tear than the other one. It has some holes and the fabric's just not in the best shape. But don't worry, I just did the exact same thing that I did to the other one. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this awesome transformation. I'm hoping to sell the one on the left for 200 and the one on the right for 150. So let's see if I can get that price. Until next time, stay flippin'.